Professional scuba diving comes with a lot of risks, and every now and then a disaster is bound to happen. Now can you imagine being sucked into an underwater oil pipe in complete darkness before you even knew what was happening? Well, that's exactly what happened to these five divers right here. Today we're going over the Perea diving incident, the stories from the lone survivor, and breaking down one of the biggest diving disasters in recent history. This incident started on February 25th, 2022, but the final report on the incident just recently came out. This whole situation takes place off the island of Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. These five divers were tasked with working on an oil pipeline for pariah fuel. They were going in to work on a U-shaped section of the pipe. This area was used to deliver oil from a ship to a refinery 400 yards away. The station on the left was called Berth 6, and on the right was Berth 5. These divers were doing maintenance work on berth 6. Now working on this pipe was very dangerous and required a ton of innovation. To be able to do this they used a special habitat bell over the top to be able to work while dry. It's an 8 foot by 8 foot cube structure that went over the top of the pipe. In the past it had worked great, but today was not like any other day. This right here is actual footage from the dive. Once divers were inside they were able to remove their equipment and begin their work on the pipe. Their first task was to remove an air plug that prevented hydrocarbons from escaping the oil pipeline. However, as soon as this valve was opened, an incredibly strong force pulled the divers and all of their equipment into the pipe. That's right, all the way down into the oil pipeline. This was so unexpected, and the men were unprepared for this to happen. So before they even knew what happened, they were sucked into an oil pipeline by a tornado of rushing water. After such an unlucky turn of events, they were fortunate enough to find themselves in an air pocket inside the pipe. Without knowing where in the pipe exactly they were, which direction was which, and what exactly just happened, they started calling names and realized they were all alive and together. Now the air that was allowing them to breathe was actually the reason they got sucked down into the pipe. Wait, so how did a disaster like this actually happen? Well, there was supposed to be 1,200 gallons of oil inside the pipe, but since there was less, an air pocket formed right underneath the plug they were tasked with removing. This caused an insane balance difference between the pressure up top and the pressure inside the pipe. So when they actually did remove the plug, that caused everything in the chamber to be sucked down into the pipe. It's one of the craziest diving incidents in history. Eventually, the rushing water stopped, and after taking inventory of the crew, they realized they were completely disoriented. The only way out would be to go through berth 6 where they came from, as berth 5 would have no way to escape. And not knowing which direction is which, it's a 50-50 shot on which way is correct. As you can guess, many of the divers did have broken bones by this point. They talked and tried to start moving in the direction they believed was berth 6. Now, this pipeline had variations in elevation which allowed air pockets to form. They eventually got head to toe with each other and slugged through the thick oil and water catching their breath in every air pocket. Eventually though they were moving too slow and some of the injuries were too severe. So the two men in the very front of the group decided to leave the rest behind to try to find a way out. The three men in the back were very wounded and the plan was to break out and send a rescue for them in the near future. As the first two guys were moving they eventually reached another air pocket and this this is where they discovered their scuba equipment. Everything was still in order and this allowed them to move closer to one of the end points. After nearly two more hours, the second men's injuries were just too severe. So they both decided that the man in the very front should go on without the second. After using what little air remained in his scuba tank, he reached the beginning of one of the berth stations. This is what he said to be the most terrifying part, not knowing if this was berth 5 or berth 6. If it was berth 5, he would have almost certainly been doomed. But eventually he swam the full 60 feet to the top where he realized that he made it to the top of berth 6, the correct station. He started banging on the sides to get the attention of the rest of the crew who eventually showed up and got him out of the pipe. The man told rescuers that the rest were alive and surviving in air pockets throughout the pipe. He was taken to the hospital where he would go on to be the only survivor. Eventually rescuers went diving around the pipe though where they could hear tapping sounds from inside. But strangely enough, 
no rescue was attempted for the four other men. There is much debate over the response by the oil company and the Coast Guard, as many feel that a rescue should have at least been attempted and was very well possible, as the men were only a few hundred feet from safety. As you all know, I'm an avid scuba diver, and when I came across this story and the final report, I knew I had to make a video over it. So many of us are fascinated with diving incidents, but few are on the level of the Perea diving disaster.